That's how I remember it. That's how I remember it. I'm just a little girl. Got rid of that mosquito. Have you seen this movie? Y'all got any apple juice? My lady business is tingling. Call me Batman! Bang, bang, bang! Ooh, Sally's dead. No! The Zoltar machine in the corner of the room. <laughs> hey, everybody, look at that. This is what I call the dino rap. <laughs> I sure am Chinese. Fantastic. <laughs> I just got that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. You okay, buddy? Okay. Hello, and welcome to That's How I Remember It, uh, where we improvise podcasts. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so this is the podcast where we remember movies to the best of our memory. Blah blah blah. You guys all know it. They they know it. They know this. Do I have to say it every time? Like this. What if so we fake. get one new listener every time? Yeah, I, then I guess. Then they're super right. confused. It just feels so fake. It's not fake at all. You just have to say it from the heart. Here. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to that's how I remember it. The podcast where we re-improvise movies to the best of our memories, and then Sharj will usually say something dumb like, uh, <laughs> "Yeah, he does." <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Our memories are bad. Shut up, Shargel. Yeah. God, bring it together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Shargel's not here today, um, so we're free to make fun of him. Yeah. Bravo's not here either. Aw. They're together, uh, probably, probably. Not liking us. Yeah. They probably started their own podcast called Tiny People. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was mean. <laughs> um, but we have, a, we have a special replacement guest, one of our favorite friends and guests, former guests. Pre- present guest presently guesting presently guesting is uh greg roberts yeah greg's back hey hello how's it going buddy i'm good how are you guys not good. too bad um greg was on ghost dad and we ha- had probably the biggest laughs of our lives even if you guys didn't i yeah. couldn't stop laughing it yeah. was time. amazing we all have our like kind of we always talk about what our favorite episodes are but definitely all of us in our top episodes is always ghost dead <laughs> yeah 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 so um what else we need to talk about oh guys there's a live show and it's coming up real soon um uh, mike what are the deets imperial pub and library in toronto ontario canada at, ni- at 8 p.m and uh it's uh like just near dundas square just east of dundas square yeah yeah on uh on young nope on dundas, dundas. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dundas, uh, in Victoria. between Young and Church. Yeah. It's like Victoria. Victoria, yeah. Yeah. You'll find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 8 p.m. <laughs> just be at Imperial Pub at 8 p.m., guys. We love you. At June 20th. Not every day. They can just type live podcast into Google and it'll turn you guys up, right? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, definitely. hundred yeah. percent, that's true. We've got not, Google not Bing, though. No. Not Bing. No, we're Don't working Bing on it. Bing. Yeah, we're working on Bing. We'll get there. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, Bing is, uh, all comedy bang bang all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fucking thing. Right. So, anything new with you, Greg? What's the news since we saw you last? Uh, let's see. I've uh, I went to Castle Loma. Oh, oh, yeah. that's a Toronto institution. Yeah. Well, I've only lived here for like t- almost two years now, so I haven't done any of the Toronto things. Right. Like the CN Tower, or I've been to Sky Dome, but yeah. So uh, yeah, I did something today. I haven't done CN Tower since I was a kid. Uh, I wonder if it's the same because I remember when I went, they had. If you go to the top of the CN Tower, they have a, a simulated space ride that you can pay for, oh. and it's like... Oh, I think... I don't know if that's still there. I remember that, though. That yeah. was in the 80s. I remember that was around the time the Challenger crashed. I remember... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like... Tour of the universe. You'd go through, and they had smoke pumping into the room because they had uh, lasers that would shoot you as you go in, and they would say, <laughs> like, that's bio-decontamination or something, <laughs> but they had to have smoke in the room so you could see the lasers hitting you, <laughs> and you just hear pew, pew! All right, little Johnny, <laughs> you're decontaminated, you're decontaminated <laughs> free to get on the shuttle. And then it would just be like you'd get into a room and it, it's one of those simulated rides where it's just uh, projected on a screen and the seats would just <laughs> tilt back and you'd see the screen projecting you blasting through the top of the CN Tower into space. Oh, that's, I hope that is still there. I hope it's still there too it's... because it's a really cool, dumb idea. Yeah. That can't be expensive now. You could probably build one of those in your house, no problem. 
We're yeah, it just you just need a tilting chair and Even, a projector screen. Yeah, you guys have heard of D box, which is yeah, a yeah. very unfortunate name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's that general idea. You can just basically do that yeah. in any movie. Yeah, I don't. How much is it? I've never done it. I, I think it's know. like an extra ten bucks or something. It's yeah. I think it's not something you. I've never paid for it either. There's only like four in one theater though, right? Yeah, it's and a lot of theaters special. don't have it at all. Yeah. And the, like... the funniest thing about that to me is for people that don't know, the D box is like a special seat you can sit on with speakers right behind your ears so the, the the sound surrounds you and the the chair shakes whenever an explosion happens on screen and like tilts if you're in a, if there's a race car scene or something um the funniest thing about that to me is that there are people that are paid to program those chairs for every movie <laughs> so they have to watch the movie and then be like oh this is a good place for the chair to shake because that <laughs> building just blew up and program in yeah. shake for 30 seconds yeah. time codes yep yeah the oh, funny man. the funny thing for me is that like there's only a handful of those chairs in any theater so like there's someone sitting right beside you in a regular chair <laughs> while the person next to you is just violently shaking <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh man it's a bad place to have a seizure because everyone's just like oh man he's, he's loving this D-box. this yeah. D-box. what an experience i'll have what he's having <laughs> orgasm yeah. oh man um what movie we're we gonna do guys i have already forgotten we just talked about it under siege should we tell him oh yeah. uh, i remember it guys we're gonna seagull it today <laughs> oh, <laughs> <what? Under Siege. laughs> oh i'm under siege <laughs> oh, it's oh my god it's all over everything <laughs> would you please call the police that is the podcast is under siege for <laughs> Everyone listening, that was the largest Diet Pepsi of all time. Oh, that was a typhoon. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's that all right. Not expected. <laughs> I was planning on having a shower after the podcast anyway, so this works out. Why does that happen that it explodes like that? I've never in my life had a can explode, and you, every time I watch you open a can, it <laughs> explodes. I always go like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you lift it up. <laughs> so, like, it's probably the momentum of you me give yeah, raising it. Momentum. Yeah. <laughs> and then open it at the peak of its height. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're basically throwing it at us and then opening the lid. All right, Mythbusters. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what it is. I was always like, wow, what a weird thing that keeps happening. There's no scientific explanation for that. Nope, it's oh. a very obvious one. Yeah, it's uh, Newton's Cubbins. second law. Yeah. <laughs> Inertia. Well, you trying to prove that you know well, anything? I don't know if that's it or not. <laughs> yeah. An uh, object in motion, motion tends, tends to, to stay in motion. In motion. Unless and an object upon, tends to stay in rest, unless acted upon by an outside force. By an equal or stronger opposing no, force. No, nope. opposite reaction is a different, <laughs> different thing. <laughs> wait, wait, that's a... You're a, so close. <laughs> that's a uh, song. Fuck, what's the... Fuck me. It would have been funnier if I could think of her name. Paula Abdul. There it is. Got it. <laughs> oh. Got it, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Comedy. Uh, what is it like? Two steps toward, two yeah. steps back. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Give Me Three Steps by Leonard Skinner. Give me three steps. Give me three steps. I know Leonard Skinner. He's a good guy. With Three Doors Down? Three Doors Down. By Kryptonite? Kryptonite. By Kryptonite? Mm-hmm. Uh, if I was three doors down, would you still call me three doors down? I used to... <laughs> I, when I was a kid, I had the worst taste in music. And I used to think, I don't think there's ever been a song that mentions Superman that is not a great song. <laughs> because I used to love, like, Superman's Dead and yeah. Superman's song. I am Superman. I am Superman. Uh, uh, What's the Jim one? Croce, Don't Pull on Superman's Cape. <laughs> like, every song that vaguely mentions Superman, I was on board as yeah. a kid. What's the one that's, like, saving the world from... That's Superman's uh, Dead. No. Yeah, Superman's uh... Song. That's Superman's the, song, yeah. Superman Crash song. Zombies. Crash has zombies. Mm. No, wasn't Solomon Grundy a yes. Batman villain, though? But it's still DC. It's still DC, yeah. yeah but yeah, still, yeah. I mean, Superman's got villains that you could... But he mentions Tarzan, too. He doesn't just oh, mention... Oh, that's true, yeah. All right. Tarzan, the DC... But you're right. He does, they, do, they do specifically say Superman I guess saving get, the world from Solomon Grundy. They get poetic license. Poetic license. Yeah. They're poets. They are. That seems like they're just stretching for a rhyme. Wait, who, what is Solomon Grundy? That's two people? No, Solomon. Solomon. Solomon is a He's different... like an immortal. Yeah, Solomon Grundy is a, a talking gorilla, isn't he? Giant... I thought he was like stone. Oh, you know, he's like a giant Frankenstein type thing. My I'm whole... thinking of, who's the talking gorilla? There's a talking gorilla too. Never mind. Gorilla, gorilla Grodd. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking of Gorilla Grodd. <laughs> Sorry. From the center of the earth, probably, right? 
Uh, I think it's that he's like it from a time that uh, a land that time forgot. <laughs> You know, like there's a hidden island where gorillas are. Like basically, there's Planet of the Apes I love on Earth. Pre GPS comments. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where they didn't have to define where anything <laughs> yeah. was. There's just a there's just an island somewhere. An island. It's got a lot of mist around it, so you wouldn't see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't get it. It's not your cup of tea. Yeah. Time forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but hyper intelligence gorillas remembered it. Yeah. Hyper intelligent. Is that Congo? Are you talking about Congo? Yeah. 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 Now that's a clock. We want to do Congo. <laughs> we're doing Under Siege, right? Yeah. We committed. Okay, we should really. This is as much as I want to have this conversation about Superman and DC <laughs> Comics for a million years. Uh, we should. Yeah, you're right. But how about this? Uh, what Mr. Mitz, it's Picklin. <laughs> oh, he disappeared. Oh! Oh, 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 we gotta say his name backwards now. <laughs> Tricks picks. Tricks picks. You did it. He's back. Great. <laughs> yeah. You know that name that ends in a K? <laughs> Backwards, it's Tritzpix. It goes from like 10 syllables to two. <laughs> uh, sorry, what were you saying, Mike? Uh, I don't know, Batman. Okay. Great. <laughs> Sigalov. Okay. Three-man Sigalov. This is like a, a nice intimate, but clearly we're all on the same page, so that's great. I love it. Uh, I'll go first. Hey, I'm going to step your neck. I might just be doing Batman. Hold on. Mm. Hey there. Why don't you line up and get out of my face? Snap your neck. Steven Seagal. Mike? Hi. I'm Steven Seagal. And I'm a cook. On a boat. Great. I'm going camping this weekend because I love nature and breaking bones. I'm going camping in the hardest prison in the world. Camp. Prison. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds tough. (laughs) And I'm going to cook too. Mm. Great. Oh, are we still doing it? Are we all? All of us are, are basically the same. <laughs> yeah. Just the zenist voice. You can't yeah, I feel like we're just, let's just uh, rock, paper, scissor it. Okay. Uh, you two, and then I'll, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's just rock, paper, scissor yeah. it. One, two, three, and then go. Yeah. One, two, three, go. Rock. Oh, Greg wins. Oh, Greg wins. <laughs> okay. Rock crushes two scissors. <laughs> yeah. Why do we go, I never go scissors first. You must have used some kind of Jedi mind trick on me. Oh, man, you shouldn't have told us that, John. We know your strategy now. (laughs) You know that I never go the thing that I just went. (laughs) Always go paper. Always go. That's my strategy. (laughs) Nothing beats paper. Oh, that's my favorite Simpsons of all time. (laughs) Oh, Bart, so predictable. Always goes to rock. Good old rock. Good old rock. Nothing beats rock. (laughs) (laughs) Simpsons. Simpsons. Oh, okay. All right. Who's gorilla? Do we have gorilla Garadoff? Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> He's a hyper intelligent talking gorilla. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I am Garadoff. <laughs> the Russian version of the... <laughs> of Grod. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, Gorilla Grod. Gorilla Grod. I studied at Oxford and Cambridge, but didn't come away with an accent. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I because. Science. Oh, yeah. Newton's second law. Yeah, yeah of inertia. Course. Right. <laughs> the equal and uh, opposites attract. That's what it is. <laughs> boom, boom. I'm a gorilla, but I'm smart, so I can talk. Cambridge. Great. Here's a question. Why are we doing a gorilla grotto? I thought it was funny. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> uh, no, we can abandon it. Let's just start the movie. Okay. Yeah, great. Uh, theme song to y- Usual Suspects. That's not what we're doing. Under Siege. <laughs> Under siege. Rumpum, rumpum, rumpum. Slowly we zoom in on an ocean liner. Is it a cruise ship or is it? No, it's a military ship, right? It's a destroyer or something. No. 
Was it? Wasn't it? Wasn't a cruise ship? No, I don't. I was thinking it was, but it can't be, right? Because it's like it's a, a military, military ship. Yeah. It's definitely a military ship. Slowly we zoom in on a destroyer. Guys, can I ta- stop talking about this and focus on flying this helicopter over here? <laughs> hey, we need to find out if we're landing on the right ship. I don't want to land on a Carnival Cruise Liner like last time. All right, good point. We did get fired. Yeah. I must have been getting real life confused with the movie Speed 2 Cruise Control. What a confusing reference from the future. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, look down. Oh, there's a ship. Is it a military ship or, or a cruise ship? Because I just want to make sure we get the right ship, not like the one Speed 2 Cruise Control. Um, they have a sign that says, Terrorists Go Home. That sounds military to me. Sounds like our ship. Yeah. All right, I'm taking her in. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Safe landing. Oh, thanks, guys. Very sweet. I appreciate it. Wait, who's this guy? Is he a cook? Hey. Welcome to my ship. Why are you welcoming my guests? Why are you welcoming? Hey, hey, what? hey Ed. Ed, come on. He Use just... your words. Use your words, big guy. You can do this. Ah! Come on. Okay. That's right. I can do this. Why are, why are you welcoming us? Oh, that was very good, Ed. Thank you, Mart. I was recently disciplined by the U.S. Navy. And I have to welcome all helicopters landing on this ship. Oh, that's... What were you disciplined for? Um, I made a steak that was too rare. Oh, no. Oh, you can't do that. You cannot do that that's in the military. E. That's E. coli. You cannot be that's E. coli. That's E. coli waiting to happen. And it's just, you know, you can't... You need your men to be on guard. They yeah. Ow! Oh. I slapped you both with one slap. I, I know. You, you've got skills. You have a certain set of skills. They're multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> if you get kidnapped, <laughs> come find me. Cool. Wait, I'll come find you. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, that's better because if we're kidnapped, it'll like, be we're probably gonna be like tied up. Like, or how something. would we get out? Yeah. Ow! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Follow me to your rooms. Thank you. You don't want to even check our credentials or anything to make sure we're the right guys. I feel like this is not that tight a military ship. If you could find this ship, you can land on it. That's U.S. Navy policy. All right. Yeah, it was. It wasn't Ed. It wasn't the handbook. It wasn't on page sixty-four. I didn't read the handbook. Oh. I was just too busy with my elocution. My el- Ed, Sorry, come I can on, do this. Ed. You can do this. You got this, man. <sighs> My elocution lessons. Oh, Thank excellent. You. Thank you. Nobody has ever believed in me like you, Mart. Give me... You know what? Give me a hug. Bring it in, Ed. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh, ah! Jesus. Oh, okay. So, All right, Joe. Yeah, we'll room. follow you. Yeah. Sorry, pick up our bags. All right, I'll get your bags. But I'll get you later. What? Anyway, here's your cabin. Oh, okay. I'm going down to cook steaks to mm-hmm. redeem myself make okay. sure they're not too rare <laughs> <laughs> yeah it seems like uh, whatever you're cooking it's gonna be pretty high stakes <laughs> yeah 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 because yeah. you don't want to lose your job yeah again thanks for the advice yeah ow i miss him already yeah nice room though it's really nice considering this isn't a cruise liner it's just a military ship like i'm shocked yeah why like- would why is there pink frilly uh, lace around the I beds. don't know. And I did not expect the fireplace, I'll tell you that right No, now. I did. I'm, I, yeah. It seems almost dangerous. Yeah. You know, like, what ha- What would happen if we disconnected the gas line uh, in this room while the fireplace was running? <laughs> I can't even imagine. There'd be a huge explosion. Yeah, like, you could probably, like, like even if, like, say there was, like, terrorists in here or something, we could probably use that as, like, I mean, hypothetically. Oh, sure, right? God forbid. <laughs> yeah. I hope that never oh, yeah. happens. No, no, no. I no, hope no, to no, God no. that never no, happens. No, no, why would that happen? Ugh. <laughs> I mean, this isn't the military ship. What are the chances of terrorists? <laughs> terrorists. This, this isn't a cruise there's liner. There's even a sign. There's a sign that says no Ter- terrorists. Terrorist what did go it say? away, I think, or go home or something yeah. like that. I, I guess it didn't say anything. What did it read is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Excellent, Ed. Thank you. You're very, you're very eloquent all of a sudden. I've been working on grammar and elocu... Fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Elocution. Hey, that, that's great, Ed. Thanks, Mark. Right. We cut to uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the kitchen. Two plates special coming up. Thanks, Pedro. No problem. Stirring, stirring, stirring the soup. Hey, wait a second. Where's my gun? What are you talking? Are you talking to me or yourself at this point? I'd like your input. Oh. I don't have your gun. 
I know I left it here. And it's against policy not to carry a gun at all times. I thought you were more of a knife man. Are you suddenly a gun guy? No. No, you can be both. But it's the rules. Oh, the rule is. I will find it for you, mister. My name is Casey. Casey Ryback. I knew your name. I was calling you mister. Oh, I'm sorry. That Out of respect. I know you. you're right. I will, should be more... For, we've worked together for three years. I should be less... For, how? I'm sorry. That's how I solve all my problems. No, it's... Pro no, Casey, I will go find your gun, Casey. Thank you. Okay. You just worry about the two plate specials that I deliver to you. They need seasoning. Oh, my God. We, seasoning. We cut out to the mess hall uh, where the guy that... The guy that just ordered the, the, the blue plate special <clears throat> is eating his soup uh, with a gun by filling up the barrel <laughs> with the soup and then pouring it into his mouth. Mmm. 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 Minestrone. In the background, uh, Pedro is just running around shaking everybody and then he can find do you have the gun where's the gun she's just picking them up <laughs> shaking them by the lapels and throwing them to the ground all in the background of the scene i need a gun why do you love it? do you have the gun is it you i tell you if casey or i better not get his gun you are in for bad news daddy loves his soup gun soup he has a certain set of skills get in this gun Find the gun! What? Okay, what is that ruckus? Where is the gun? Pedro? Pedro is standing on a table in the middle of the room. Gun! What? Hey, what do you have in your hand there? It's a gun. It's my soup gun. Where did you get this gun? I found it. Where did you find it? In a boot. Whose boot? I don't know exactly, but it said Casey Ryback on it. I don't recognize the brand. Give me that gun. No, this is my soup gun. You cannot just take someone's gun. I didn't. I found it, and this is my soup gun. This is against regulations. If you don't give me that gun, you'll be branded a terrorist. Well, then brand me, because I'm not giving up my soup gun. Did someone say brand me? It seems we have a terrorist on this ship, Casey Ryback. <laughs> oh, my specialty. After steak. I heard about your steaks, mister. A little bit too rare. Oh. It, let me just say one thing. I have known this man for three years. It is very rare that he undercooks a steak. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, it's only, he only got in trouble because the one time that he cooked it poorly, it was a very high stake situation. <laughs> I, said, I just thought of that just now. That is my joke. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you for lighting in the mood. Anyway, give him the gun. I will not give you the gun, and you have not seen the last of me. And then he... He drops a smoke bomb. Yeah, he drops a smoke bomb, <laughs> but he, then you can just see him running. <laughs> the Pedro, distance. I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of him. Oh, I wish we had gotten his name. Or any kind of credentials. His uniform said Ryback. That can't be a coincidence. He may have taken your uniform. What am I wearing? You're wearing chef whites. Oh, good. Because I'm at work. <laughs> of course. I feel like you are having a bad day. Casey Ryback, are you going to be okay? Also, why are you leaving your uniform and a gun in your boot and just leaving your uniform everywhere? Uh, the rules don't apply to me. Although so you, I take them seriously. Okay. <laughs> so you want to follow the rules, but they don't apply to you also. Yeah, that, exactly. Thank you for understanding. So this is how you can be a knife guy and a gun guy. Perfect explanation. Oh, I feel like we should have known more. I should, I should be more interested. Ow. I will let I'm okay. How did that blue plate come out? Oh, you know, it was for that guy, so don't even worry about it. Oh, good, because <laughs> I forgot. Great. <laughs> uh, we cut back to uh, Ed and Mart's room. I'm just saying that you complete me. Oh, okay. We'll finish can this you, another time. Yeah. Can you get that? Please? Yeah. No problem. It's 
That wasn't important. Sorry, I'm just in my lounger. Okay. I'm in my lounger. You know I don't like the get I know. I, you, I, once you put on your smoking jacket, you're gone for the night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm the captain of the ship. Oh. I just wanted to welcome you on behalf of all of the U.S. Navy to the ship. Thank you. We've already been welcomed by uh, your Who head welcomed chef. you? Your head <laughs> chef? That son of a bitch. This is my job. We did think it was a little strange that the chef would welcome us. We did expect it, uh, something from the captain. Yeah. So. His explanation was spurious at best. Oh, his explanation. I've been working on my grammar. It's very good, Ed. Thank you. His explanations are rarely understood. <laughs> Stakes. How do you guys know that story? Oh, we heard about it from him. Oh, that bastard. It's not his job to tell it's that story. It's the captain's either. of the ship's job to tell all oh, backstory. Man. Oh no. Well, is there any other backstory? Yeah, I wonder how did you how did you get that assignment of telling backstory? <clears throat> did I, you find out about that? Yes. Let's we'll do it in a flashback. Oh, cool. Excuse me, Admiral. Yes, Captain. I'd like my own ship. <laughs> I don't think you know what it takes to be a captain of your own ship, Captain. You see, you have to know every nut and bolt. Every man, woman, and child that ever stepped foot on that ship. You need to know their entire life story up until the moment they arrived on that ship. Do you think that's something you could handle, Captain? Of course it is. Oh. I'll do anything to get my own ship for reasons that you will find out later. I just need a ship. Well then... I suggest you start reading this entire pile of documents. I'll do it. And you're also going to need to take a night class on uh, how to build a narrative structure for when you recount the stories of these people's lives, you know, to newcomers. Yeah, like let's say hypothetically a helicopter landed on my ship in the middle of the night. Sure, could happen. I would love to tell them the backstory of how I got my commission. Well, this is... This would be that story, then. Great. And is then, there anything you want me to tell them that you look like? <laughs> yes, just mention the fact that I am basically a Santa Claus figure, <laughs> but <laughs> without a Santa Claus suit. You know, uh, I feel like that's the, my most descriptive uh, milieu, you know? Consider it done. A gust okay. of wind blows in, and then the papers... Uh, a couple papers blow off the top of the stack, and you see this exact conversation written out in the backstory. Ho, ho, ho. And he looked like Santa Claus without a suit on. <laughs> wow. Wow. The end. That was really descriptive. Wow. Yeah. These, you, Thank you. Know, you. You've I done could, your homework. I could Thank picture you. it in my head. It sounds like he, that whole story was just about him doing his homework, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, listen, guys, I gotta go put Casey Ryback in the brig. Oh, no. Like yeah. the, 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 the brigadier? No, I think the he's ship's the ship's prison. The ship's prison. Whoa! Yeah. I didn't mean to get anyone in trouble. Well, yeah. you did. I hope he doesn't come after us. Well, based on his backstory, which I'll explain in a minute, oh, I can't he's wait. going to. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, what's his backstory? Well, a long time ago. His daughter was going to Paris on vacation. We didn't want her to go, but he went. she went anyway. I'm gonna go. You cannot stop me. I am going to go. But you might get taken. I won't get taken, I promise. All right, if you promise. I promise. Call me if you do. All right. We cut to moments later. Moments we cut to a week later. <laughs> Hi. Hey, little girl. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna take you. No. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I do a quick texty poo first? <laughs> of course. Okay. Dad, I am being taken. Uh, what's yep. this? I got a text message in the middle of an appointment. Oh my God, she got taken. I guess I'll go get her. He's not answering the text oh, or calling. It's okay, I guess I'll just know, go with you. I'm in a bit of a hurry, so we just gotta get this slavery thing. Oh. Yeah. You know what? Would it be cool if I... Uh, I just saw this really cute dress on the store as we passed by. Do you mind if I just run in there real quick and buy that dress? Uh, I mean, normally I'd say no, but 
it might actually help it might actually help the whole slavery thing like people like like they I, I find my customers a lot of time like dresses when I get like gussied up mm -hmm. sure. yeah um, yeah you know what the dress is on me okay you know what there are a couple of I just wanted I was hoping I could see the sights of Paris before yeah I'll tell you what okay. I'll tell you what yeah um, we'll get you that dress right and we'll go for like I know this great cafe uh, on on the River Thames uh, a rose for the lady oh of course <laughs> of course we'll take two Oh, shucks. Yeah. So kind. Okay. And here's a little something for you. <laughs> oh, what a, you have a nice man with you. Well, I don't know about that. We just met, so. I see good things in your future. <laughs> oh, <You>. wow. <laughs> Did you pay this guy? No, I don't. It's just, you know, it's just That's crazy. kismet. It's kismet. It's kismet. like. Kismet. Yeah. 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 So um yeah, oh, so we're yeah, gonna go okay. we right. got that cafe on the River Thames and cool. uh, and then we'll just we'll just go to maybe down uh, walk along the, the Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you some get you some gussied up and get you some nice yeah. outfits. Have you ever have you ever climbed the Eiffel Tower at night and just stared out into the abyss? You know, I uh life is life is so busy when you're into human trafficking. It's just sometimes you just don't have the time. Yeah. You know what? I think Maybe I'll make the time today. Huh. And maybe I'd like to make the time with you. Oh, shut Stop it. What's your name? Sorry. Oh, Margraine. 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 <laughs> oh, what a beautiful name. Thank you. Very European. Oh. Oh, it's Rybeck also. Margraine Rybeck. Oh, Rybread. Rye no, Rybeck. Rybeck. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Violin. <laughs> wow, that oh. guy. Paris is like the city of love. It's crazy. Anyway. We hear uh, Casey Ryback slowly screaming and running up as this conversation continues. Um, so we should, uh, I don't know, do you want to exchange numbers or do you want to just come with me to the store? And, oh. oh! Ow! That was for both of you. You for kidnapping my daughter and you for going willingly. Dad, you never told me to resist. You just told me to tell you if I got taken. I feel like, if anything, this is on you. Oh, hoisted by my own petard. That's a Navy reference. Oh. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Okay. So should I go with this guy or not? Because I've had a lot of mixed messages lately. You know what? I'm going to let you decide. <sighs> okay. You, you've put a not, lot of nice things on the table? But I'm really thrown off by your repeated use of the word slavery. Is that like a metaphor or is it literal slavery? It's literal slavery. Okay, so that's, that's, that's something to consider. I'm leaning away from letting you make this decision. Oh. In oh, fact, I see. In fact, I'm just going to kill this guy if that's okay with you, sweetheart. Look away. What are you... I'm just going to look over here for a second and... Oh! Oh, don't look back. Oh, you didn't say not to look back. You oh. need to be more clear with your directions. That's a note I will take to me in my future jobs. Yeah. I hope you always remember this moment and the takeaway you get from it that haunts you for the rest of your life is you need to be more clear in your directions. Sweetheart, I've taken this lesson well. Okay. Then they look to the, the guy that they just stabbed and he's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> And we and we cut to uh, the river, where he's crawled up to the river, and he's uh, is a, a day later. He's 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 dying of thirst, and all he has is is a is a gun, and he's <laughs> <laughs> drinking water out of this the river with this gun. I'll get my revenge if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> So anyway, that's how my daughter and I became friends. Hmm. Beautiful story. Really, really just empowering. Yeah. Oh, the, I think the captain's here. He wants to say something to you. <laughs> oh, captain. My captain? I told you I hate that movie, Ryback. Captain, I... I'm sorry. I'll report to the brig immediately. Do it, Ryback. <laughs> we cut to the brig. Uh, we cut to the brig. 
I brought you I brought you lunch. Um, mm. It's not very good because our chef is in prison. But I all I could make you was um, an omelet of hard boiled eggs, mm. and it's mixed together with plasticine. What? Because it looked to me like grits. This is C four. What? Nothing. Nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then I also put um, a sprinkling of like metal spaghetti on top. Um, because those I are thought... nine millimeter bullets. What? Nothing. No, thank you so much. Okay. And then because I didn't really know the layout of your kitchen, um, I just I put like a big um, pile of uh, pepper, like just a big pile of really black pepper. Just pure you, gunpowder. You could you what? Why do I keep that in the kitchen? Nothing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, oh, and I also heard it was your birthday, so I brought you a candle and a lighter. Um, so I couldn't make a cake because I don't c cooking, but I brought you a candle and a lighter. This is a gun and a knife. <laughs> what? Nothing. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I have to get back to work because I'm need to make um, food for the reception of the vice president of the United States who's coming to the ship tonight. Of course. So I have to go do that now, and I don't know how because I don't the cooking. So I'm... You okay? Yeah, you know what? I have a feeling that we'll be seeing each other real soon. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, bye. Oh, also water. Oh, great. Yeah. I hey, can I borrow your keys to the jail cells? Yeah, it just... Here's the keys. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. No problem. Um, I need those back later or I'll be in trouble. I'll have someone bring them to you. Okay. Bye. Great. Goodbye. And we cut to the, uh, <laughs> the unknown terrorist. And uh, he's drinking out of a gun. And he's tiptoeing <laughs> between from, from, uh, from room to room uh, and going in and looking through everyone's boots. And anytime he finds anything, oh, oh a, a needle nose pliers. <laughs> Take those. Oh, oh, a deck of playing cards with dirty pictures on them. <laughs> I'll take those. <sighs> bird. <laughs> Hi, bird. Come here and let me tell you a secret. <laughs> you see, uh, they call me a terrorist just because I go through boots. But I know, I know what I need. I know that everything I could possibly need, I can find in boots. My old man told me that. And my plan is to get revenge on Ryback for taking my one true love away from me. Hey, are you going through my boots? <laughs> Who are you talking to? You do say you get revenge on Ryback? Uh, no. D do you know Ryback? But I, someone else, yeah. so I would think it was the bird. I don't, it wasn't me. It was probably the bird. It's hard to tell who's talking. Hey, you're that guy that took his gun earlier. Ah, Pedro, you will get your revenge. As your best friend of Casey Ryback, you will stop this terrorist right here and right now. I am coming at you with my arm raised above my head and I'm going to stab you with this knife. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Here I come! Revenge from Ryback! Bye. Ow. Are you dead? Yep. <laughs> That's how I know. <laughs> and we follow a trail of blood into <coughs> a sink in the floor, <laughs> down through a pipe, back into the prison. That smell. I'd recognize Pedro's blood smell anywhere. He's dead. If only there were a way out of this prison cell. What do I have with me? I have a gun, a knife, the keys to this prison cell. Oh wait, I can shoot the lock off. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I don't know what's going on in here. Do you mind if I uh, I just store this giant oversized uh, cake 
in here for a little while. Uh, there's going to be some reception or something for the vice president later. Yeah. And uh, I don't have anywhere to keep this that, that nobody will find. You guys, Do you mind if I just leave it in here? No, please do. Please okay. do. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt whatever you had going on. Nope. That's all good here. Okay, great. Um, cool, cool, cool. Hey, you know, I, uh, do you, oh. I think they wanted this cake up in the captain's quarters. But first... Can you turn around? <laughs> what, you want me to just go and look over at this uh, this thing over here? And I look... Where'd he go? Huh. Oh, shit, I gotta take this up to the captain's cabin. <laughs> we cut to inside the cake. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't, I didn't know anyone else was in here. I'm Playboy Playmate of the Month 1989, Erica Aleniak. What is your damage? I recognize you from your pictures on my wall. Okay, that's creepy. That's creepster. Are you a stalker? What did you think was going to happen to those pictures? Are, they were going to be admired for their artwork. And people were going to get to know me as a person. I don't know if you noticed the writing next to those pictures. Yeah, that it said my likes. Yeah. Walks on the beach. You, Hiding in cakes. Oh, you know me. And military cook uniforms. <laughs> so that's why you're wearing that. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'm not that easy, buster. Hey, can you guys please? Whoa. I'm trying to sleep in here. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Mark. Sorry, I didn't know there was another person in here. Oh, it's... sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. No problem. Good night, Mark. Sorry, Mark, Mark and I timeshare this cake. It's expensive. Yeah, but you know what? I feel like... You get to try more vacations in different spots. Right. If you, you like, I mean, you could spend eight thousand dollars a year going to Disney World, no or you could, yeah, you could. Really? That cheap? I, I know it's crazy, but or you could spend the same amount of money three timeshares: one in Orlando, Florida, where you could go to Florida and see Disney World. Yeah. One in, um, I don't know, South Dakota. Oh, I love South Dakota. Right? It's one of the better Dakotas. You could have a third top one. Top two for sure. Top two Dakota. Um, you could spend a third one for the same amount of money. That one could be in Pierre, North Dakota. Get the hell out of this cake right now. No, I'm not getting out of This is my cake. Oh, North here. Dakotas? I'm yeah, sorry. That was a... It was an expression and I got confused. Okay. Yeah, you could do both Dakotas. So I don't even care which one you like. Do you have a card? Can I call you? I do, but it's... Oh, yeah, I guess I can... you can just pull it out of my <gasps> G-string here. Oh, I'm sorry. My, my thumb grazed your... Well, um, your, you know... I'm sorry. I'm not good with women. I get it. Hey. I, I do have a daughter, though. I should tell you this now. Well, that's a deal breaker for me. I'm <gasps> sorry. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm just going to turn around and, and talk to my... Uh, Okay. My roommate here, I understand. and I'm just—I'll probably ignore you for the rest of ever. I understand. Is that okay? It's fine. I'm okay. used to it. Great. <laughs> we cut to the captain's quarters. <laughs> the cake is <laughs> vibrating from all the talking <laughs> and just shaking left and right. <laughs> what the, captain? There's uh you know what? It's probably nothing. No, no, no! Spit it out! Spit it out! Let me know. Well, I'm just this giant cake that was just delivered here. Uh, yeah. yeah, the cake I requested. Oh, you actually asked for it to come? Well, I asked for a cake. I didn't want it in my quarters. Okay. Uh, it's, is it weird that it's moving of its own accord? Well, you know, the backstory of this cake is very interesting. Let me uh, just... Do you have uh, an hour or so? Of course. Well... <laughs> And that's why uh, sometimes uh, you can have upwards of five or six people hiding in one cake. Huh. Huh. After the story's told, Casey Ryback has what is standing right behind the captain. I'm back, motherfucker. Oh, we should have been watching that cake. There's no swearing on my ship. You tell him, Cap. Two gunshots, two corpses. That's how Casey Ryback works. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not gonna... Like, I was warming to you, but now that you've just murdered two people in cold blood, I have to admit, Casey, I'm not... 
I don't think I'm going to change my mind about not hanging out with you. I'm going to be honest. I I was kind of... It kind of rubbed me the wrong way, too. I'm sorry. You seem yeah. like a nice enough guy. I know that we did sell him that timeshare, so... Yeah, so I guess we'll see you, you know, two weeks out of every year. It's going to be yeah. so awkward. You know, yeah. it'll, it, it, it'll be okay... You know, we just gotta remember. Even if it, even if that two weeks doesn't work out, we've still got Pierre yeah. coming up. Um, you know, in August. You know, and if we just if we want to avoid each uh, other, like we could do West Dakota maybe instead. Oh boy. Yeah. Anyway, you go and do whatever thing you're doing. We're just gonna cake it up. Yeah. Cake it up, Mark. Okay, let's cake it up. Let's cake it up. Cake it. All right. Up. Goodbye, guys. Okay. <laughs> they slowly lower back into the cake <laughs> and close the lid. As Casey walks out of the room. Uh, if I was a terrorist, where would I be? Um, we cut to the Lido deck. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Nope. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy uh, he's drinking out of a gun. Listening to Jared Leto. <laughs> no, wait. Yeah. Is that that's the actor, Mars. right? Yeah, but he's also in 30 Seconds to Mars. What's the... Oh, I was thinking of the that song, Lido. Lido! Oh, 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 oh. They're, so, they're listening to that song. Who's that? Uh, that's Jeremy Piven. Nope. <laughs> Let me think of it. Hold on. Scotty Piven? Nope. Scotty. It's a... Uh, it's, uh... Okay, we got it. Okay. Jimmy Buffett. He's... And he's listening to Boz Skaggs. Lido! He's playing shuffleboard. Yep. Yeah. Jack Zai. Bullseye. Jack Bot. Jack Bot. Oh, God. I'm going to get that ride back. Right after I finish this game of shuffleboard. <laughs> Yeah, if you could finish quickly, uh, my fr- my friend Mart and I uh, have been waiting to to shuffleboard for quite some time, I'm and so- I I don't, it's just you you in fear you're in fear you in f- sorry huh you yeah, you can in- do it you can do it Ed thank you okay you infuriate us there it is yeah thank you um, well, I don't care all right <laughs> ah. Hits him with a shuffleboard stick. Ow! We're gonna... I'm gonna tell somebody on you. I don't know who I'm gonna tell, but I'm gonna tell somebody on you. So, Mart, let's get out of here. We don't need this. Excuse me, do you have this shuffleboard court? I'm just finishing up. Okay, take your time. Bye! Ow! <laughs> I'm not even gonna play now. <laughs> My plan is working. <laughs> <sighs> we follow uh, Mart and Ed. Ed, thank you. Uh, down the hallway. I guess it's a good thing we didn't, you know, play because we, we should really get. Um, I don't know what's the word. Gussied up for uh, the vice president coming, right? We should really get on our our top ten outfits. The words gussied up travel through the vents, <laughs> <laughs> through the ship, and then land in the terrorist's ears. And he's instantly taken back to that day in Paris. <clears throat> no, no, no. I've got to find Rybeck. Rose for the lady? No. No, I can't. Here, have the shuffleboard court. I'm out of here. I've got to find Ryback, but first I gotta. I know that what I need. <laughs> he starts. Uh, he starts grabbing boots, and <laughs> there's a montage of him just putting boots on every part of his body, like <laughs> like weapons. He opens the trunk of a car <laughs> and pulls out double fistfuls of boots <laughs> and throws them over his shoulder. And then he, he takes two boots, ties the laces together, and just starts spinning them around like nunchucks. <laughs> under his arms it's time to roll into action I'm sorry I'm sorry I was doing like a like a like no, a, one of those like 
you know, you do like a montage, you I was do, just, whip things around. I was you watching say, like, you do it, and it, it seemed really cool. I just wonder if you wanted to do a line that related in some way to Boots. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Hold on. Because you, yeah, the way you said it, it seemed like you thought it was something. Yeah, but I just thought it was like cool, like action. Like an okay. action, like an anime, like in a movie. Well, take two. Take two. Take two. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. I was going to play shuffleboard, but in watching you is kind of more interesting. No, no, I get it. I get so it. I, I didn't mean to intrude on uh, your Oh, excuse thing. me, guys. The Humane Society is here about that bird that died earlier. Oh, yeah, you know what? Um, I heard that that was in um, Pedro's quarters. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take them over there. There's probably going to be a big fine. Okay. Mm. Is that okay. fine? Well, it's fine with me. Oh, what did I just say? <laughs> you do. Oh, oh my man. God. Wow, oh, that weird. joke is so high stakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's really rare that we hear something that fun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, nothing boots a good pun. <laughs> oh, man, that uh, joke was pretty well done. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, if you guys need to, if you need to bring in soldiers to start an investigation on how that bird died, that's cool with me. Okay, cool. I mean, but I'm only... Uh, a ship's purser. Right. But it's, you know what? I have control of the entire Lido deck, so my word goes here. Of course. So, of as course. far, just, if you run into anyone, just say that Josh said it was okay. Josh. Oh, you're Josh. I'm you Josh. Know, I saw your uh, bulletin board post about the uh, roommate. Oh my god. I'm going to be calling you. I would love, so far we're hitting it off pretty yeah, great. Hey man, I love <laughs> this. This has been a great conversation. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't put your name. Ow. Oh. Ow. You don't Jeez. have to hit us with a fucking uh, oh. shuffleboard uh, thing. Stick. Stick. I Thank think you. they're I called sticks. Oh, okay. I really think we connect. Yeah. I think they're called sticks too. Oh, great. We have a connection. We're gonna, this is gonna be a great situation. It is. You know what, why don't I come with you uh, to lead that investigation? You, oh, awesome. You've got your soldiers coming in? Yeah, you know what? They're landing on a helicopter. Oh, great. So they'll be here soon. We should go meet them, or... Yeah. Is, whose job is that? You know, it's this lazy cook. He um, never does it, though. Okay, well, it's just you and I. Okay, great. Great. Um, anyway, uh, sorry, you go ahead and finish your thing. I'm sure you're going to come up with a great boot-related related line. I'm sorry we interrupted you. Uh, still not cool that you hit us with that stick. 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 Nice. Bang. Ow. Bang. Ow. Ow. Okay, we're leaving. We We're get going. it. going. Stop Goodbye. shooting us Stop now. Stop shooting us in the shoulder. Ow. That's going to... Well, at least... Stinks. You know what? At least it's different shoulders. So, like... Yeah. I feel like we're going to be even better match now. Like, if there's a right-handed thing to do, I'll do it. Perfect. If I'll take care of the lefty stuff. Oh, my God. I don't even know your name, but there's a, there's a connection. You know what? My name is Lefty. Shut up. What are the odds? Josh and Lefty. Huh. It's meant to be. Anyway, let's go. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Josh pops his head in. You didn't forget about that line, right? It's a boot time. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, keep working on it if, in case. But great. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boot. <laughs> <laughs> We cut to just a shark fin circling <laughs> in the water, and we cut back immediately. <laughs> Great. If I were Ryback, where would I be? Uh, we cut to Ryback. If I were that terrorist, where would I be? We cut to Ed and Mart. If I were the vice president, where would I be? Good question. We cut inside the cake. <laughs> um, it's nice to meet you too, Mr. Vice President. Oh. Well. Oh my god, I'm just I can't even talk. I'm, I'm I can't even it's I'm Mark. <laughs> Mark, it's nice to meet you. Oh. Yeah. I'm uh, Erica Aliniak. I'm Playboy, Erica. Playmate of the Month in 1989. I had a poster on my wall. Mm. Oh, you know what? That's it's, it's weirdly not creepy when you say that. <laughs> I hope I can count on your votes. <laughs> you can count on a lot of things from us. <laughs> uh, hey, what are you doing in July? Do you have two uh, weeks free? You know what? I was gonna go down to Camp David. What do you? How do you feel about Pierre? Pierre, you know my wife's from France, so I hate it. 
No. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, was that a faux pas? No, it's fine. We just thought maybe you'd want to hang out with us in one of the Dakotas. Yeah, either one. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I do have a place in West Dakota. What? Is what? this timeshare? Oh. Hey, you guys might be interested in the timeshare. You ever thought about that? We do love timeshares. We do love timeshares. Huh. West Dakota do you have a speech people. to do tonight, Mr. President? Vice President? Yeah, as soon as I pop out of this cake, I'm giving a speech. Wow. Wow. How, how unconventional. Thank you. <laughs> Which is, oh my god, are you doing a joke because he's making the speech at the convention? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Mark, you're great. I know. Oh god. Oh god. We we I think I really feel like we're all getting along here. Yeah. Like it's like I feel like we're building like a lifelong friendship here. Hey, before you pop out of the cake, do you want a pop of this gin? Well, I really shouldn't, but you know what? I like you guys. I think I will. Glug 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 glug. I've had too much. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're silly. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed I just came in? I just thought, hey, just gonna go hang out in the cake for a few weeks. And we meet Gerald Ford. And and we build a lifelong friendship. With Gerald Ford. Mm -hmm. Current US Vice President. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford. Ford. Yep. Yeah. That's me. Anyway. This is fun. Parcheesi? Oh yeah. That's my favorite game. Great. <laughs> we cut to uh, <laughs> the convention room. <laughs> and the entire U.S. military is sitting uh, impatiently tapping their watches, <laughs> just sta staring at a cake on the podium. Nobody's explained to them what's going on. <laughs> they just know they're waiting for something. Can we have a piece of this cake or what? I feel like the cake is, uh, should go to someone. Well, there's a giant knife right here. I said we just slice right into it. I'm on board with this plan. Yeah, everyone grab a knife. Wait, 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 there's Admiral. I get the first piece. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. You remind me of someone from my past. Oh, who? This, like, he was like Santa Claus, but he never dressed like him. That's me. I think you're thinking of me. Oh, my God. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> You might not be thinking of me. <laughs> I apologize for misconstruing. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. You're gonna get a letter in a couple of weeks. I'm just let me apologize now for the contents. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? Don't even read it. Just rip it up and burn it in a fire. Well, that would be a federal offense. I can't. I can't tamper with mail. Good point. Good point. It's addressed to you. I should. Yeah, it make is it your clear. mail. I think you can do whatever you want with it. I don't opinion. know if that's true. You can't burn your own mail. Well. Isn't the Postmaster General here somewhere? I'm here. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, what are the rules? Uh, 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 sorry, Admiral McGillicuddy, we haven't met. All the rules? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Rule one. No, sir, no. <laughs> Don't oh, God. always put stamps <laughs> this is on my mails. Fault. You know what? I should, have, I should have been more clear and explained. I wish I had a moment in my past where I learned that lesson, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Admiral McGillicuddy never learned to explain himself well. Rule 14. Oh, here it goes. Only write return to sender if you would <laughs> like to return it to the sender. Well, that Rule makes sense. 15. At least the rules are good. The rules are great. You may burn your own letters if you wish. Rule 16. Well, what was that last one? I wasn't listening. Oh, which one? I gotta start over. Oh, <laughs> Rule we cut to. <laughs> We, we cut to uh, Bob and Mart in the hallway, and they run into Casey Ryback. And Ed comes up and replaces Bob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for keeping my place. No problem. <laughs> oh. Hey, Ed. Yeah. I, I appreciate you hanging out with my brother Bob for a while. I, he, he's really lonely, and I just need to go to the bathroom so badly. But I'm glad that I'm back. And yeah, I just like, you know, I can't be without you. So if you're if you need to be away temporarily, I'm glad that there's a replacement. Yeah, of equal or lesser value. Yeah. Psst. Oh hi. Up here, up here in the vent. What? Oh. What? You uh, remember me? I met you at the helicopter earlier. <gasps> you're that lying cook. Shh. Oh, don't tell anyone I'm lying. I do lie a lot. <laughs> okay. Listen. There's a terrorist on this ship. <gasps> what? 
What does he look like? What, do, you, do you have any descriptor about him? We can stop him. I only know one thing about him. Okay. He drinks out of a gun. <gasps> the guy that drinks don't out, out of, of a gun! gun! Don't tell me. I want to figure it out before you... Before, just don't tell me, okay? Okay. Now, yeah. the vice president's on board. And I suspect... They're related somehow. <laughs> I haven't pieced it together yet. But for some reason, this terrorist is here at the same time as the vice president. We got to the terrorist, and he's sitting by the pool. <laughs> drinking pool drinking water. Pool water, pool water out, of water, out of a gun. Out of a gun. <laughs> uh, yes. I know what would I know how I can pull Ryback out of the woodwork. All I need to do is simply kill the vice president. The perfect plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? A flyer. It says, "Looking for roommate. <laughs> Contact okay. the ship's purser, I, Josh. Josh." There's like little strips with all phone numbers on it, and he rips one of those strips off, and then behind that poster, he sees Vice President <laughs> looking for roommate <laughs> <laughs> to timeshare. Interesting. You just pull this. <gasps> the convention center <laughs> is looking for a roommate. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. We look inside the terrorist's head, and all of the three posters that he's seen flash over and over again as we see his his thoughts, beautiful mind style. Roommate. Vice president. Convention. Roommate. Roommate. Convention. Vice President. Vice President. Convention. Room. Whoa! I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a banquet in the convention room. Oh, what's going on over there? Um, I think there's a vice presidential speech or something. Hmm. He's addressing the entire military for some reason. Oh, cool, cool. Um, so it's probably, they probably don't have space for me to sit or anything, or... It's I I think it's SRO. Uh, I think it's SRO. So I could just get in there. I could probably wait. Did you say vice president? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did say that. Did say that. Did say that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hit you in the head with a shuffleboard stick. Splash. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Okay, so I just gotta go to the convention center <laughs> and kill the vice president and that will surely get Ryback out where I could finally A small child uh, get my <laughs> shouts at him from the other side of the pool. Are you gonna ever use those boots? What are those boots for? Oh, I'm gonna use these boots, kid. I'm gonna use these boots hey, forever. What, what are they a boot? No, I already tried, I already tried one of those. Oh, well, Sorry, I you've hurt me to my very soul. Well, maybe you should just uh, you know, I don't see any parents around. You should consider why. Well, I don't need somebody to watch me with their eyelets. With their eyelets? Yeah, it's a boot pun. How? Why? Well, it's I'm saying I, but I'm adding the word let. An eyelet is like where the the thing goes through the. The, the shoelace, laces, the the shoelace laces. goes through those eyelets. Yeah, thank you, Benjamin. Wow. I, this is my friend Benjamin. Have you met? Hi. Hi, Benjamin. Uh, I've just realized. Have you met the... I have a lot to learn about boots. Oh. I thought I knew it all. Thank you, guys. Hey, just keep studying, and someday you'll be laces. Like aces, but with the L. Wow, that's... You've really touched me in my very soul. I used that one. But you're learning. You're learning. Great. Anyway, have we... Is that guy dead? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's dead. Wow. That's cool. Five, six. Ow. Ow. Splash. Splash. Ah, so much death. <laughs> <laughs> to the convention center. <laughs> hmm. We cut to... Uh, Ryback drops out of a vent in a hallway. Uh, I can smell the vice president. 
just going to follow that smell. We cut to uh, Bob and... Nope. We cut Ed. to Ed and Mart back in their room. I'm telling you, we should just cut the gas line. It's terrorists. Terrorists have overrun the entire ship. We literally talked about this when we first came in. We should just cut the gas line. Yeah, I mean... Well, I mean, I haven't heard any evidence so far that there's terrorists. For sure, I haven't seen a terrorist. I haven't heard any screaming or seen any... Death. Oh, the, that guy told us, okay? And yeah, maybe he's lied to us in the past and admitted to being a liar, <laughs> but that doesn't mean he's lying now. You can't take chances with terrorists, Mark. Look, Ed, Ed. You can't. Ed, Ed, I've got an idea. Okay. A compromise, if you will. We'll cut the gas line now. Okay. But we won't light it yet. We'll just let it go, and then we'll we'll wait it out. And then in, if the moment arises that we need to blow up the ship, we light it on fire. Yeah, we'll just light a spark, and we could do that from anywhere in the ship. We just light any spark, and and then it'll be done. Exactly. That's a brilliant plan. That's like that's a very. That's real, real, real genius. Sorry, I just, I know that one shouldn't have even tripped me up. <laughs> You're real genius. Thanks, Ed. We cut to the uh, kitchen where some of the cooks are lighting the grill <laughs> with a sparking device, their gas grill. At the same time, the vice president is get, uh, popping out of a cake. <laughs> ah, surprise, everybody! It was me! The ship blows up, and the vice president is launched into the sky through the roof, <laughs> of, through the roof of the ship. And he, uh, and, <clears throat> and he, uh, he lands on a, on a deserted island. <laughs> As he is uh, assessing his condition, some packages wash up on shore. <laughs> One is a very large package. Looks like a refrigerator box of some kind. <laughs> he opens it up and lives inside <laughs> for the next 35 years. Uh, <laughs> a hyper-intelligent gorilla wanders out of the jungle. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my island. Thank you. I, uh, I'm stranded here. Do you have a way to contact anybody? Yes. <gasps> I have all of the most advanced communication platform in the world. You are Bing? That's right. You Amazing. can Bing it. But I'm afraid I can't let you contact anyone. For Why you see, not? this island is hidden from human eyes. Oh my god. We cannot let them... Um, what's the word? Sully our existence. Uh, I mean, if, if, if a human even came for, for one moment, I'd have to, at the very least, get gussied up. What? But, but, and, uh, gussied up. <laughs> gussied up. <laughs> the word travels to Long Island, where an old man sits in a rocking chair. I will find the vice president, and I'll get Ryback. Gussied up. <laughs> Island? I'm getting in my helicopter. <laughs> we see Casey Ryback see a helicopter take off from Long Island, mm. and he starts chasing after it, for he needs to greet everybody that ever gets out of a helicopter. That helicopter's gonna land somewhere, and I'm gonna be there when it does. <laughs> And he swims off into the sunset. <laughs> we cut back. This is now 35 years after the <laughs> ship explosion. Just to be clear, <laughs> the vice president is having a conversation with Gorilla Grodd <laughs> and helicopter lands <laughs> on the beach. Hey! Oh, oh good lord. Now I'm going to have to get gussied up. <laughs> Ow! Hey, Smash. what are you doing to my friend? Yes, what are you doing to me? I'm sorry, were you were you attempting to kill me? Yes. Oh, gorillas are we are proportion different than humans. So. Stronger? I have to hit you like twice. <laughs> Probably. Well don't hit me at all. How about that? <laughs> Ow. Oh jeez, more than twice? Yeah, don't why don't you a nice greeting or a handshake or uh, oh. some kind of uh, a banana would be nice. I love bananas. You're such a stereotype. Well 
you don't even know my people. Okay, don't talk That's about our fair. struggle. Don't talk about our struggle. I'm sorry. All right. Let me just check my boots here. I think I might have bananas somewhere. And oh, here we go. I knew it was in my left hip boot. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You really have soul. <clears throat> Ow. Ugh. Anyways, you're the vice president. I assume I'm still the longest serving vice president in history. I understand that if you get lost at sea, they can't officially replace you until you find a body. Do you know all the rules? I do. Would you like to know them? <laughs> what, what are they? Rule one. A vice president may be vice president if and only if he has been in contact with the president for 24 hours. As this conversation continues, Casey Ryback swims up screaming. Ah! No, you were, you were telling us about the rules. Oh, rule, rule 17. Shut up but, with your rules. I'm here to Ryback. save the, presi the vice president. Hey, don't let him tread on your rights like that. Ryback. Tread on your rights. You look familiar. Okay, I'll shut up. I am I am familiar. Do you remember 35 years ago? When and I was then, on that ship? Yeah, and then, then before that... Oh, when I was with my was daughter? Paris. <gasps> You're that white slavery guy. You took her away from me. You took her first. Well, I came here, and I've killed, and I've murdered, and, I, and I've fought, and I just want... I want, brought you here... To ask for your daughter's hand. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so sweet and old-fashioned. I really appreciate that. I'm really glad that you two got together and you told your story so that your relationship can be healed. Wow, that was two. <laughs> two, two puns in one. Oh, man, this, what a... Uh, uh, I tell you what. If you can make one boot pun, you can have my daughter's hand in marriage. Okay. That hasn't been used yet. <laughs> well, I've done a lot of bad things in order to get your daughter. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wish that I could elace them. That's not bad. <laughs> I think you should let them tie the knot. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the family. Ah, uh, let me bow to this greeting. I, that was a stretch, and I apologize. Okay. You know what? <clears throat> what is... I'll, I've realized through the years that, you know, I'm just one boot. I'm just a left boot without my right boot. and It's time for the boots to be united, because what is, what is one boot? One boot is good to nobody but a man with one leg. But I have two legs. <laughs> Four... <laughs> Boy, I wish. Are you I wish losing the a, train of thought? Are you losing your train of thought? Oh, I wish that my second boot may be on my second leg, for she is my second leg. For I wish. Where is she? This is a really overextended metaphor. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, fair enough. Where is she? <laughs> my daughter died ten years ago. Oh, Gorilla Grodd is an ordained minister. I could marry you to her spirit. Be. Is that something you're interested in? I hope you're not being tongue-in-cheek. I was not. Oh, good. <laughs> then let's do this thing. Yeah, well, oh. I'd say that uh, the wedding is going to be a foot. Because <laughs> that's what goes in a boot. A foot. I love boots. Love them. Marry me to her spirit, sir. Here's my daughter's hairbrush. Can you summon her with this? Yes, of course. You know our ways. I do. Uh, I will need... And this is going to be a really difficult thing. I will need... Um, is it 1989 Playmate of the Year? Erica Liniac? Yeah. Yes. How did you know? Just the feeling. A cake floats up. <laughs> I got to get... <laughs> she pops out. <laughs> Hi! How's it going, guys? Erica. Land! Mark Land! What? What? Land? Oh, Mark, you're here too? We can stop eating 35 years worth of cake! Ah, oh, thank God. Oh, God. 
Oh god. <laughs> she just jumps and starts crying and trying to eat the dirt. So happy to see land. <laughs> oh god. It's been it's okay, 35 it's okay. years. It's okay. Hey. 35 years. It's been 35 years, but... But... Who would have guessed that we would have gotten together in those times and started a family in this in this cake? Child after child climbs Leonard. out of the cake. <laughs> Leonard, Patricia, San Diego, Pop Smith, come on, all all of you, Linda, Bertrude, Candiferous. What about me, Tortuga? Tortuga, who could forget about you, Tortuga? You're the wild one. <laughs> Tortuga lights the island on fire. <laughs> Gorilla okay. Rod puts it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a small fire. <laughs> hey guys, this uh, is why we don't let humans in here. <laughs> you know what? We were just about to start a wedding, and uh, looks like our guests have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a joke. Well, it was just unexpected that these people would all these people would have arrived, and we needed guests at the same time, yeah, right? What a coincidence! Yeah, right? it seems like it seems like uh, you know one of those soulmates. I think we've used them all. Yeah, I think they're. I think, they're <laughs> I think we've gone. used them all. I think they're all gone. I think they're all gone. Yeah. Uh, stitch together a story. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Steel toe something. Steel toe something. Uh, leather faced. To leather faced. Toe the line. Toe the wet sprocket. Yeah. No, oh, no, it's not good. Anyway, let's start the way. Oh, you got one. He's got one. He's got one. This isn't good. I'm not gonna clap. I'm gonna boot. Mm. I think that's the perfect bootin on these boot puns. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Gorilla Grodd, you're Canadian? No. What? Oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. I don't know what you're talking about. So can you summon my daughter? Yes, of course. Eric or Leniac, I'm sorry, I need to take a piece of your hair. What? What the f- What is happening? Get away from me! There's a talking gorilla! I've gone crazy! Mark! Kill me, Mark! Kill me! But what about our family? Kill me, Mark. I promised that I, if you asked me three times, I would do it. Without a question. And that was two. Do you want to ask me once more? Mark? Yes? Don't say it, baby. Don't say it. Don't do it. I don't want to do this. I thought that I was living for the chance to see land again, and now that I've found land, I know that this existence is even worse than the one that we had. I'm sorry. I never loved you. Kill me. <laughs> Erica. Mommy? Erica, no. Mommy? Mommy, mommy. Mommy? He puts his hand over her mouth and nose. <laughs> daddy, daddy, what are you doing? <laughs> no, no, I I have to do it, kids. While Please the sand, look away. While look the sand, away. While this scene plays out, Gorilla Grodd tiptoes over and looks left and right, takes some of her hair, <laughs> <laughs> walks back. Let's just get out of here and leave them to this. How about okay, that? Sweet. Is that cool? Yeah, that's great. I mean, this seems like a really intense moment that we probably shouldn't be here for. I don't even want to watch this. Okay. It's, I, you know what's weird? I didn't even need her hair. It's just, I needed a woman's hair. And you oh. said her name and I was like, yes, that's the woman I want to see. Oh, perfect. Okay. So. Uh, I feel really guilty now. No, it's not, I mean, you don't have magic words. It's not like you can say uh, 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 a person's name and they'll just appear. Do you, could you imagine if I had that power? That would be insanity. Absolute insanity. I would give up this entire island and just worship you as a god. Anyway. Should I try it? What do you mean, try it? What if... I mean, we gotta try, right? What? Well, well, I guess... Who, who should I name? Well, I was gonna summon your daughter's ghost, but maybe you say your daughter's name, and if she comes back to life, I mean, that would be evidence of godlike powers if I've ever seen one. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Okay. Rebecca Ryback. Wasn't her name, I don't think. Was it? I think it was Margraine. It was Margraine, yes. Wait, I wanted to talk to her mother before I did this. I wanted to get her okay on this. I think it's fine. Do it. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go back. 
she jumps in the water and starts swimming away. <laughs> this is so stupid. Mark Green right back. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Sweetheart, you're alive. I was just about to see Paris finally. Well, I've got ah. a surprise for you. What is it? Look over here. There's a man uh, squatting in the woods just wiping his ass with leaves. <laughs> Does that look familiar, baby? <clears throat> oh, God. I... Oh, is this poison ivy? What the fuck? What is going on? What is happening? I genuinely don't know who that is. Wait oh. till he turns around. Okay. Margarine. And, sorry, you are... A... A... Jack. You might know me as the terrorist. No, I don't think I know you as a terrorist. Sweetheart, Paris? Um, the Paris I don't, terrorist? didn't meet any terrorists in Paris. I met a, I met a slaver. I met a slaver in Paris, but... <sighs> wow, it's been so long. It can't be you, because he didn't have gray hair or wrinkles. I just always knew myself. I thought of... The last 35 years, I've been thinking of myself as a terrorist. I just forgot that one day I was but a simple slaver. But yeah, that's me. Yeah. I've come here to marry you. Dad? Yeah, baby. I'm asking you to tell me what to do. You know, explain clearly and concisely. Sweetheart, do you remember the talk we had when you went off to college? Yeah. I do. <gasps> That's right. You explained to me clearly and concisely what to do if I ever met a slaver again. That's right. Take my knife and do it. So, have you decided? He drinks from his gun. Would you like some? Hey. Yeah? Have you decided? We'll always have a Paris of boots. Oh, no! Like a pair. Like two boots. Shut up. Oh, staff, I, get staff, I get it. Staff. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's gargle, 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 gargle. And the island sinks into the ocean. Oh, no. Well... We had a good run. <laughs> Gorillas! Flock fly. to me! Fly! Gorillas, fly! Gorillas, like, <laughs> putting on jetpacks. Yeah. <laughs> and they fly off towards and the sky. And as they fly away, you see the Statue of Liberty <laughs> lying in the sand. That's right! It was Earth all along! <laughs> Gorilla Grodd, out! <laughs> We cut to <laughs> Ed and Mart in a rowboat. Row, row, row your boat gently down. This never gets street. old. Never gets old. I'm if you know if I'm gonna be trapped on a raft for, th tw how, I guess it feels I've like been, about like two, five, four, five years or something. How long has it been? Do you think? I've been marking it on my skin, and I feel it. I started counting after it felt like a few years, and it. I have over thirty. So, I don't know, it must be at 35 or something. But it, you're right, it feels like three or four tops. What do you mean marking it on your skin? What does that mean? I've just been marking it with, like, a, a, a blade. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, your your elocution is has gotten out really good over the last 35 years. Wow. Well, thank you <laughs> very much. Anyway. <sighs> Let's and... just lie down here and stare up at the stars. Mm can't believe this all started with a helicopter ride. Yeah. <laughs> this journey that we call life. Ed, you're my best friend. Mart, you're my best friend. <sighs> a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go. A whole new world Don't you dare close your eyes A new fantastic point of view That's how I remember it That's how I remember it Jesus You're welcome guys The longest episode of all time <laughs> It was pretty fun though It was pretty fun Hope you didn't lose interest They didn't <laughs> They didn't You didn't, did you? Oh my god, tell me, please tell me you didn't. If you think of a boot pun that we didn't think of, yeah, send it please in. send it to that's how I remember it at gmail.com. Because I, I think we did all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, and uh, find us on Facebook at Nice Guys Comedy. Rate and review us there. Nope, yep. don't. I mean, <laughs> rate and review us. Like us on Facebook or rate and review us on iTunes. Yep. Uh, bum, 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 bum. And we have got a live show. Oh yeah! If you made it, this, if you made it to the end of this episode, <laughs> we have a live show, uh, eight p.m. June twentieth at Imperial Pub in Toronto, Canada. Uh, we decided it was at Victoria and Dundas, which is just by Young and Dundas. Yes, yeah. it's in the back room. You're in the back room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shut up. <laughs> All right, Greg, uh, it was a pleasure. It's been fun. You're always our favorite, except for the times when we have other people that are also our favorites. (laughs) I never laugh as much as I do when I come here. Great. That's great to hear. That's Gorilla Grodd. Great. That was not a pun. (laughs) It was just saying a word and then another word afterward. Grodd. No. No. (laughs) You really got me in the mood for puns, and I feel like as the episode went on, I got worse and worse with them. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Um, Last thoughts? Um, Keep fit and have fun, kids. Body break. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Uh, Eat eat chicken. And if you do do drugs, learn them from watching your parents. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't know if that was the message of that commercial. That's what I took from that commercial. Learn how to do drugs from watching your parents. That's what you took, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think I think that is the message, but it, I, I just it's a negative. It's like you're not supposed to do drugs because your dad's such a fuck up. That's the idea. Hmm. But that's not what it said in the ad. In the ad, the kid learned. He was like, "I learned it from watching you." Yeah, remember? but it's, it's supposed to be like a negative. Like he didn't. Like it's like his dad. How are we supposed to up. get that? How are we supposed to get that? I from thought that? learning was fundamental. Learning is fundamental. The you library I mean? is open. I mean, I mean, I, I guess a lesson's a lesson. So, I mean, education. I mean, if, whether it's a whether the, whatever the lesson is it's still learning so are I you guess... trying to read me sorry <laughs> i'm stuck in rupaul's drag race right now <laughs> never mind continue your thought that even means <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's all i got bye guys. Bye. bye i love you <laughs> barf ah uh, cut that out <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck Feedback can be sent to that's how I remember it at gmail.com. And music for this episode is provided by Music Alley by Mibio.